solve this equation, where, x, y and z, are positive integers. This is an exponential Diophantin equation. There are three variables in one equation. So there might be more than one solutions. How to solve this equation? By inspection, x equals y, equals z, equals 1, satisfies the equation. In fact, if x equals y, equals z, equals n, where, n is any positive integer, then the right hand side of the equation, equals n to the power of n, plus n to the power of n, which is equal to, 2 times n to the power of n. And the left hand side of the equation, equals 2 times n to the power of n. So for all positive integer n, x equals y, equals z, equals n, are solutions of the given equation. Are there any other solutions? For example, solutions with x being not equal to y. We will find out. If y is greater than x, then y to the power of y, is greater than or equal to, x plus 1 all to the power of x plus 1. Next we will evaluate, x plus 1 all to the power of x plus 1. We consider, x plus 1 all to the power of x plus 1, minus x plus 1 all to the power of x. We know that, a to the power of m, times a to the power of n, equals a to the power of m plus n. By applying this, x plus 1 all to the power of x plus 1, equals x plus 1 all to the power of x, times x plus 1 all to the power of 1. Now the two terms have a common factor, x plus 1 all to the power of x. So they can be factorized and written as, x plus 1 all to the power of x, times x plus 1, minus 1. Which is equal to, x times x plus 1 all to the power of x. x plus 1 all to the power of x, is greater than x to the power of x. So we can now write, is greater than x times x to the power of x which is equal to, x to the power of x plus 1. Rearrange the inequality, we have, x plus 1 all to the power of x plus 1, is greater than x plus 1 all to the power of x, plus x to the power of x plus 1. As x plus 1 all to the power of x, is greater than x to the power of x. And x to the power of x plus 1, is greater than x to the power of x. So we have, x plus 1 all to the power of x plus 1, is greater than 2 times x to the power of x. So we can now write, is greater than 2 times x to the power of x. That is, y to the power of y, is greater than 2 times x to the power of x. From equation 1, we have, z to the power of z, equals 2 times x to the power of x, minus y to the power of y, which is less than 0 z to the power of z, is less than zero, is impossible. Therefore, y must be less than or equal to x. Similarly, if z is greater than x, then z to the power of z, is greater than or equal to, x plus 1 all to the power of x plus 1. As we have proved, which is greater than 2 times x to the power of x. That is, z to the power of z, is greater than 2 times x to the power of x. From equation 1, we have, y to the power of y, equals 2 times x to the power of x, minus z to the power of z, which is less than 0. y to the power of y, is less than 0, is impossible. Therefore, z must be less than or equal to x. From inequalities 2 and 3, we have, y to the power of y, plus z to the power of z, is less than or equal to, x to the power of x plus x to the power of x, which is equal to, 2 times x to the power of x. Note that, the equality holds, if and only if, x equals y, equals z. Equation 1 just means the equality holds. So x must equal y, must equal z. Therefore, x equals y, equals z, equals n, where, n is a positive integer, are the only solutions.